Hi, Wednesday Louise with Louise McCarr and welcome to my channel. So what I've got here is a Lazy Susan I purchased from Ikea. I have varnished the front. I have taped the back. By now I certainly have shown a full creation video from taping to creation to resining to removing the tape um, already. I will flash that video up, number up now. But what I've got for today it, are uh, five colors and two cell activators. And I've got my black base, which is this tricorn black from uh, Sherwin-Williams, color to go. First color here is a beautiful, be beautiful blue. And this is Arteza's Pearl Sapphire Blue with um, Color Arts Wild Berry. I've been using a lot of the Wild Berry and I wanted to uh, combine it and make the color a little richer with an opaque, which is what that is, this pearl color is. Next color is Golden's Quinacridone Nicolazzo Gold with Zeus. It's this combination. This little piggy. Next one is Golden's Iridescent Gold combined with Deco Arts 24 Karat Gold. Next color is my Sea Glass combined with Pearl Sea Green. It's a TLP. I got everybody represented today. I am equal opportunity here. Next color is this crazy yellow, which started out as a very muted color, but then I decided because I'm putting it on black wanted to really splash it up. So I added a color I have never used yet, which is this color art lemonade. So that's this one plus this from Arteza, the Pearl Golden Hour, and some Naples Yellow Deep by Amsterdam. So that's my lineup. I've got my white cell activator and my gold cell activator. These, is both, these are both made with my American Floetrol cell activator uh, video number 141, which I show how I make it and the recipe. And I think that's all. So without any further ado, I'm going to get the black pillow down and I'll start going here. But I'm going to right now clear off all these paints and I'll be back in a second. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do today. I know it's going to be a swipe. I've already made a bloom on black. I'm trying to make a variety of things uh, for the store so that there are a variety of things for people to choose from. So as I lay down the black, I'm going to speed through this and cut out some of the parts. So this is tricorn black, and I have to always be mindful that this stuff is going to spread. This stuff spreads a lot faster than the um, multi-pro, and I always think I need to add more, and I feel like I need to add more. I'm going to be disciplined today. Okay, so let's get going here. So the first thing, first things first, I'm gonna lay down my cell activator. Now, I'm thinking I'm gonna do three different swipes at least, but I'm gonna start with the big one in the middle, I think. And we'll just see, we're just gonna play. So I'm gonna speed through laying down the colors. That's my white cell activator I'm laying down on the palette knife. The next is another cell activator. It's Rich Gold by Atelier and those are the two cell activators I'm using here. So that's my blue combination I'm laying on top. And always remember the cell activator has to go on first for a swipe. That's my Quinacridone Nicolazzo gold combination. This is my gold combination, my sea glass, and then my crazy yellow at the end. And the reason why your cell activator has to get on first is because when you lay your palette knife over, you want your cell activator to be on the top as you're swiping everything through. So just wanted to throw that in there as we go. I add too much cell activator and paint, so I did wipe some off there. Let's see what we come up with. This yellow is gonna be something. I don't know if it's gonna be good or it's gonna be bad, but we'll see. All right. Interesting. I'm going to put this one away for now, and then I'm going to probably pull out some smaller ones. All right, let's go with a small one. Or maybe I'll just... I think 
I'm going to go <clears throat> start with the gold first. Let's have the gold be the star in the second swipe. Now this is the rich gold cell activator. Put a little bit of white, just a tad. So again, I'm going to speed through this as I'm laying down a slightly different color combination with the white and the gold cell activator, then the blue, then the nickel azo combination, the sea glass, and then the yellow. Actually, I put a little extra of the sea glass down first. So I always keep the swipes on real time so you can see the pace at which I'm pulling it through. I like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm cutting out some of my thinking and I'll be right back to it. Let's do something going from this direction. Same thing. So as I go through laying down colors again, I'm gonna speed through. That was the rich gold. Then I'm gonna put just a dab of the white cell activator down. The blue followed up with the quinacridone combination, followed up with more sea glass, and then finished off with that crazy gold combination. We'll see what we get. Look at this. How pretty is this? Wow. Oh, maybe I want to use that. So it's scraping up my scraps. I guess I'm definitely an opportunist here. I'm going to lay that down for some fun. I'm going to put some black through here to cover this up. Let me get a bigger palette knife. And I'm going to stretch this guy out because this looks really cool. Do some corrective surgery here. So all I'm doing here is just laying down the black paint. That's why I'm going at five times the speed because um, at the end of this swipe, it just didn't look very good, so I'm gonna cover it over and basically erase it and reshape it some. And as we go forward, I'm gonna be skipping out a lot of stuff just to save time, because this is a 40 minute video. Here, I'm just pulling in some of the pillow paint into the composition to kind of give it a little bit of a break. And then I do a couple little touches here and there as we go through, and after looking at it a little bit, I do cut out all the looking parts. And then I clean up real quick, and then I start to spread out the base in preparation for spinning. All right, let's go. Nice and easy. And we'll see where we, we'll see how we develop here. Okay, I wanna go this way already. I'm leaving in the first two spins so you can see the speed and the rate at which I'm spinning it, but as we go forward, I'll be cutting out the spinning because you don't need to see all the spinning. This is always a little bit tricky, just trying to get the pillow paint to spread equally to the edges at the same rate. It's a chunk. It is a chunk. Where's my extraction tool? There it is. Jeez. Okay. Get a little assistance here. Even though it knows where it wants to go, at least if I get it to the edge, everything will be 
stretching equally. I love the gold in there. This gold cell activator is beautiful, beautiful. This section is unbelievable. Wow, I'm like tripped out here because this looks literally three-dimensional. It looks like there's a hump, hump in there. Wow, oh, this is really cool. Glad I added that gold. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. Well, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I'm in love. I'm in love. Wow. I can't, I need to turn the camera off. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna just clean up the sides. Just cleaning up. And then I'll clean up the whole place. But you wanna clean up your bottom so that the paint will stop pulling the composition toward the edges. I'll get you a flyover, a wet flyover here in a second. Here are the wet results. I don't even know where to begin. Let's start from the left. This is so ghostly through here. It is so ghostly cool. That was that secondary swipe. And also that's that additional swipe that I picked up off the side of the spinner. love the way the white shows up there. The yellow and the white cell activator, amazing together. The cells are cool. Love, just love this whole section in here. And that's where I took off half of it, the bottom. Got rid of it anyway, it would have been gone anyway. But here you go, that is the wet result. I'll be back with the resin results in about 10, 12 days.
So everyone, here are the final resin results, and I'm literally blown away. And I'll tell you what, that rich gold atelier cell activator has just blown me away. I cannot believe how much brightness and bling it brings to this piece. Not to mention all these colors on that black base. I am thrilled to death at, at this result and hope you enjoyed it too. So if you're new here and enjoyed this, please subscribe, hit the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. At the very end of this video, I will link my uh, playlist for other Lazy Susans if you want to see other colors and compositions and styles. And also, before you go, if you can hit that thumbs up button, I'd appreciate it. And leave a comment. I'd like to know what you think. Maybe you have some ideas of your own you'd like me to try. So that's all for now, everybody. Thanks a lot. Take care.